Truist is a fantastic institution. You know, they have a lot of great credit cards, business credit cards, personal credit cards. So in today's conversation, I want to talk to you about how to pre-qualify easily for Truist credit cards. Here are the steps you need to follow. The thing is, the thing is that when we talk about pre-qualification and Truist credit cards, there are three ways for you to determine your chances of uh, getting approved for a Truist credit card. So you got to visit Truist webpage. So they have a, a dedicated web page for this credit card pre-qualification process. And when you go on, on that web page, you want to enter your required information. Make sure that you have the, the information before you go to that web page. And what we are telling our, our viewers is that you want to write down, for example, your income. You want to write down you know, how much you would like to have as a credit limit. Because Truist will ask you to actually enter the, um, the the minimum credit limit that you want. In some In some states, they do that. So you enter your required information, you enter your social, you enter your, don't worry about, it. they won't do it any hard pull. This is a soft pull. This is a pre-qualification. So your credit score is uh, safe. Okay. So you enter your, your social, you enter your information, your first name, last name. They'll ask you about your employment status. If you are working, just enter yes and tell them how much you are making on, a, on an annual basis. And you need to select continue to view any pre-approved offers based on your information. Okay, so this is really important. And one thing I want to say here is that Truist is a very generous credit card provider, credit card issuer. A lot of folks don't know that, especially since the uh, BBNT and SunTrust merged to become Truist. They have uh, now a stronger balance sheet. They have a, a great, I would say, a greater set of uh, credit card offers. Their credit cards are just are just wonderful. Okay, so this is how you do it. How you you pre qualify for a Truist credit card online. There are other ways to actually uh, qualify though. You can uh, sometimes they will have uh, mailed offers, so they will offer you. Uh, they will mail you offers, so they will send you uh, some kind of uh, application or some kind of pre approval letter. And uh, when you get that from Truist, make sure you respond within thirty days or forty five days. Sometimes. They'll, they'll, let, they'll tell you to respond within two weeks. It really depends on the promo they're trying to run. If they're running up some kind of promotion in your area, make sure that you're really fast, okay? So you have two ways. The very first thing you need to do is visit the online platform or just wait for mailed offers. In some cases, you can even call Truist directly and say, hey, listen, I would love to, to be, uh, uh, be pre-qualified for a credit card. Can you help me out? And what we have seen we have seen work also in the, in the last two years is that you can go online and or you can go through the Truist app and just uh, tell them that you are, you'll be interested in uh, pre-qualification. So this is kind of cool. Now, let me give you an overview about the whole thing. By the way, welcome back to the show. Really, it's a pleasure to have you here. And I want to talk to you about how to pre-qualify easily for a Truist credit card. So when we talk about Truist credit card pre-qualification, there are certain things, there are certain behaviors, financial behaviors, credit behaviors that will help you. Okay, that will help you boost your chances of uh, not only being uh, being pre-approved, but ultimately be approved for a Truist credit card. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you check your credit score. Remember, when we talk about Truist business credit, business credit cards, there is no sort of like minimum credit score. No, everything starts with having a relationship with the bank. And once you are in their system, even if you have a FICO score of 500, you can still qualify. See, when we give this type of, adv of, of advice, people say, well, you know, I have a poor credit score. I will never qualify. No, you can qualify if you do things using a certain formula. Build your relationship with Truist first. And in the meantime, work on your credit. Make sure that you, you bring your credit up. You want to beef up your uh, direct deposit. You want to beef up your uh, your employment uh, situation. Okay. You want to beef up your pay situation. You want to you want to uh, to update your pay information in Truist system. So they probably have you a couple of years ago when you started with BBNT or started with SunTrust, you were probably making 20 grand or 30 grand or 40 grand in their system. And 10 years later, fast forward, you're probably making now 80 grand or 75 grand or 90 grand. 
but in the meantime nobody actually took the time to uh, update your information in their system this is why it's important for you to update your information and if you want to improve your approval odds for a pre-qualification offer through truth make sure that you check your credit reports often to make sure that everything is clean pay all your bills on time including tourist and non tourist bills reduce your uh, your credit card balances so you, you can reduce your cur very important and uh, if you are able to uh, to become an authorized user on someone else's credit card this could also be a possibility let me give you a few pro tips here okay by the way, I just want to, to, to remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about how to pre-qualify for Truist Bank credit cards easily. Now, one thing I want to say here is that what does pre-qualification really mean? Because a lot of people use that word and people don't understand pre-qualification versus pre-approval. So when we talk about pre-qualification, it just means that Truist has actually done a preliminary research or sort of like a screening about your financial profile and they like what they saw. They like your uh, maybe your your, your financial uh, summary, okay? They like how much you're making. They probably got some data from uh, from uh, credit bureaus. So this they are sending you blindly a pre-approval offer, a pre a pre-qualification offer. So when we talk about pre-qualification, we're talking about something that involves a soft credit check, which will not affect your credit score, right? So this process involves truest reviewing some basic information about you and your credit file to see if you are a good fit. And uh, so this is kind of cool. But it, sometimes when you hear the terms pre-approval versus pre-qualification you know, pre and pre-qualification, those two terms are interchangeable. Sometimes they mean the same thing, even though pre-approval will, will have a lot to do with uh, mortgages and loans and pre-qualification could, could be a more suitable for a credit card, especially when it comes to a Truist, okay? And w one thing I want to I want you to remember here is that Truist is constantly reviewing uh, millions of uh, credit files, not just uh, credit files about their own clients, but also about other banks' clients, because that that's how they actually drum up business. That's how they drum up business. That's how they generate revenue. That's how they actually uh, increase their customer base. Remember, Truist has to do this to su to survive. Because the bank is not nationally available, they're not nationally present, they are a regional player, so they have to constantly look for new customers if they are to survive. Very, very important. If you have made it so far, I want you to, I want to reward you here and uh, in, in the bonus section. You need to establish a relationship with the truest to boost your pre-qualification offers and eventual credit card approval, okay? And when we talk about Truist, we're talking about a bank, as I said before, that has uh, a constellation of products that may be of, in of interest to you. What do I mean really? Well, Truist has uh, checking accounts, okay? And you might want, right now, you might want to open a checking account through Truist if you want to boost your chances of pre-qualification for their credit cards. So when it comes to, uh, their checking accounts you have the truest one checking okay this is actually the one account that actually is kind of basic okay and uh so you're able to waive the maintenance fee through a lot of things if you don't if you don't actually uh, want to pay the fee that's that that's fine but you have to do certain things there are levels of uh monthly average balance requirements so you ha they have level one zero to uh, less than ten thousand total monthly average so here you actually are able to uh, to waive uh, to waive uh, the fee. You have free personal checks. That's the level one. Then you have level two, where you basically your monthly balance goes from uh, ten thousand all the way to twenty four thousand nine ninety nine. You know here and the third level you have a level three benefits. You have uh, twenty five thousand all the way to forty nine thousand nine nine nine. And level four you have a uh, fifty thousand to 99,999 okay and uh, the the top the premium is you have the level premier benefits here this is for folks who have uh, who are maintaining a balance of $100,000 this is a monthly average balance so you got to ask yourself where you fit do you fit in level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 level uh, level premium so this is important so when we talk about 
pre-qualifying for Truist bank credit cards, make sure that you find yourself in a specific level when it comes to their checking accounts. Okay, this will help you a lot. This will help you not only get approved for the uh, the credit card itself, but also get you a foot in the door when it comes to pre-qualification. And when we talk about their, uh, so their, uh, so they have, so when it comes to their checking accounts, right? So you have a first, you have uh, their uh, truest one checking. Then you have what they call truest confidence account. So the truest confidence account is a, is a very interesting animal, if you want to call it that way. So this account was designed to help you build a strong financial foundation with no overdraft fee and no traditional paper checks. So it helps you only spend the cash you have. So really here, what, what, what you have is you have a minimal account. So you have $25 minimum opening dep deposit. You have $5 or $0 monthly maintenance fee with plenty of uh, ways to waive. No paper checks. You have truest confidence account details. Okay. And what we love about this account is that it allows you to actually start a conversation with truest to start a relationship with Truist because the uh, minimum uh, minimum requirements are so low that even students can qualify okay if you're a student if you're a student under the age of 25 you can even qualify if you're 18 you can still qualify so we love that a lot and this is what I and they actually came up with they came out with this product not long ago especially after the merger between SunTrust and BBNT so Truist uh, Truist uh, management was able to find a product that really uh, appeals to a specific segment of the population so so besides the uh, so when we talk about checking accounts at Truist you have two types of checking accounts you have the Truist confidence account that's the kind of basic and then you have the truest one accounts that has several la several levels or several layers okay and one thing i want to say here is that you know if you want to have it, the good thing is truest even have a, a basic credit cards let's say a, a low tier credit cards so if your goal is to have a foot in the door into the proverbial uh, truest door you might want to start with the truest confidence account and then get a truest uh, enjoy account and enjoy credit card for example and then gradually work your way up the ladder of the truest credit card ladder this will be very very helpful to you if you play the game properly I want to continue on the same path here when we talk about relationships, having a relationship with Truist. So I spoke to you about the savings that you can have with Truist. Now I want to talk to you about this, the saving. And I spoke to you about the checking accounts. Now I want to talk to you about the savings account. Okay. And when you talk about Truist, you do have a constellation of uh, savings account. So you have Truist one savings. You have Truist one money market accounts. You have Truist certificates of deposits you have truest confidence savings okay so this is really important to really have in mind and let, let me just go a little granular here so when we talk about truest one savings here you only need fifty dollars to open the account this is a very basic account and uh, so if you have a truest personal checking account this is kind of cool you are able to uh, waive the zero dollar you are able to waive the monthly maintenance fee if you meet the certain uh, if you meet the certain balance on a monthly basis this is kind of cool and you can actually even if you are under ages of uh, if you are under 18 years of age you can still qualify and then for the uh, truest one money market accounts you can actually uh, if you uh, get the cash if you have uh, if you maintain at least one thousand dollars in your truest one money account you can actually waive the twelve dollar monthly maintenance fee okay so the cash in your truest in, in your truest one money market account may be used to get extra benefits in your truest personal checking accounts including truest one check-in and then you have uh, the truest certificates of deposits so here we are speaking about terms from uh, 32 days and greater and you have a uh, minimum amount that go from uh, 
one thousand to twenty five hundred dollars. Okay, we love we love that a lot, and this is great. And then you have the truest confidence savings, and here we were speaking about a very low low amount, but it, it, it's still uh, interesting. So overall, when you think about truest savings accounts, you have to think about personal checking benefits, low maintenance growth, extra overdraft protection, and you are able to track your progress through a tourist account so this is really fantastic really when it comes to building your future when it comes to uh, growing your emergency fund your emergency funds or your rainy day account this is really really cool so we love that a lot and uh, i want to close today's conversation by talking to you about truest credit cards see today's conversation is uh, centered around how to pre-qualify for truest credit cards easily right let me just uh, acquaint you with some of the credit cards they have they have a uh, wonderful credit cards we ha i'm not going to speak very uh, too much about this because uh, they do have i mean we have covered this on on another show but i just want to quickly say that when we talk about truest credit cards you have actually uh, five credit cards you have the enjoy cash credit card you have the enjoy travel credit card you have the future credit card you have the enjoy beyond credit card and then you have the enjoy cash secure credit card when we talk about the enjoy cash card you have a three percent cash back on gas two percent on utilities and groceries up to the one thousand monthly spend cap and one percent on all other eligible purchases or 1.5 percent cash back on all eligible purchases and for for the intro APR offer, you have a 0% intro APR on purchases for 12 months after account opening. So this is really good. For the standard APR, you are looking at 17.49% to 26.49%. For the Enjoy Travel credit card, you have 2x miles per dollar spent on airfare, hotels, and car rentals, and 1x miles per dollar spent on all other eligible purchases. Then you have 20,000 bonus miles when you spent $1,500 in the first 90 days after account opening. For the APR, you have the same uh, oscillation, the same range here, 17.5 to 26.5. Okay. And for the future credit card, you have, uh, there, there are no rewards here. You have a 0% intro APR for 15 months after account opening on purchases. And you have a 0% uh, APR that actually applies on specific balances. Okay. And on, on balance transfers, you're looking at 0% intro APR for 15 months after account opening on balance transfers made in the first 90 days after account opening. And the APR goes from 15.49% to 24.49% variable. And for the Enjoy Beyond credit card, you have 3x points per dollar spent on airfare, hotels, and car rentals, 2x points per dollar spent on dining, and 1x points per dollar on all other eligible purchases. This is kind of cool. Now, one thing I want to say before I close to this conversation, if you want to pre-qualify for Truist bank credit cards easily, you got to think about banking services. Truist does have banking services. And here we are speaking about something very, uh, very interesting, but very different. See, when you when you analyze Truist, you have to understand that this bank is constantly uh, adding new products. They are constantly uh, changing what, what, what they're offering the public and this is kind of cool and one, one thing I want to say here is that Truist is very uh, comfortable giving uh, new products to the right customers so if you have if you have uh, the financial wherewithal if you have the financial stability you might want to consider the premier banking at Truist this is really really important they also offer uh, online and mobile banking okay so if you get approved for a uh, credit card you get approved for a uh, yeah credit card or a loan. You are able to access online and mobile uh, mobile banking capabilities at Truist, and you really have to take the time to enjoy Truist because since the merger, they have done a superb job at running a, a unified platform, a unified platform for banking, for credit card, and other services. They do have a strong wealth digital wealth. Uh, department so if you are trying to uh, if you are trying to preserve or build your wealth truest could be a great uh, a great uh, bank for you okay so they have a, a platform where you can actually manage your uh, your your wealth they had they call it wealth digital banking 
and they also have something called the truest cash reserve so this is also another possibilities that you can actually think about okay so the so the bottom line here is that credit card pre-qualification through truest is not a guarantee but it can help you determine whether you should apply for a truest card or improve your credit before you proceed with an application okay and if you're having trouble getting pre-qualified for a truest credit card or not quite receiving the offers you want from truest work to you you are sorry about that so you really want to work toward improving your credit score first okay and you and this is kind of cool because it helps you find out whether or not you are in a good position to qualify for a business credit a personal credit card or a business credit card from truest okay this is really important and uh but yeah overall this is a great bank we love them we love them a lot and uh yeah thank you so much Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I was just I was just talking to you quickly about how to pre-qualify for a truest credit card. So I gave you the step you need to follow. I give you an overview about the whole thing. I give you a few pro tips and I give you also a bonus by talking to you about the truest uh, credit cards that we have. Where you have uh, the Enjoy Cash, the Enjoy Travel, the Future, the Enjoy Beyond, and the Enjoy Cash Secure. Thank you. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.